Chris Blevins here, welcome back to the channel. We're out here in La Jolla again. Um, it's a pretty good morning so far. Yeah. Got two nice yellowtail this morning on dropper loops on the bottom fishing with squid. Crixie out here got his first yellowtail here on the squid bite. Let's check it out real quick. Yeah, baby! Woo! It's a 30 pounder there. Uh, I was catching it at 87 feet. Still got my squid jig down. All right, I got my leader back. 40 feet down. Should be a color here in a second. Deep color. Looks yellow. Good size. See fucking how bad that thing wrecked me when it hit? <laughs> nice, looks like my leader's still good too. He's on, right there. You got mackerel? Diddly time. All right, everybody, it's pretty much a wide open morning in La Jolla. Um, typically, you know, I'm not gonna talk about squid bite too much, but uh, there has been a little bit of that squishy bait around and the yellowtail has been biting it early in the morning. It's tough to get on the bite when there's a lot of pressure, but a um, bunch of guys hooking up this morning. Our friend Crixy got his first yellowtail and then his second yellowtail this morning. Congratulations, bro, man, that's so rad. Getting to see someone catch their first, it's like, <clears throat> he was so stoked. Dude, he was just like hooting and hollering. So congrats again. This fishing is tough. Um, the bait's really sparse. The key is, you know, you need to be out here early at gray light jigging it. It was much easier to jig the bait 
um, right after gray light. Right now it's still around, but it's kind of scratchy. It's tough to make. Um, but basically right now, if, if you got a live piece of squid on a dropper loop on the bottom, then uh, you're getting bit. I got two nice 30 pounders here, super stoked. A couple of tips for you guys fishing the squid. Um, you know, when there's boats out here on the bed and they have anchor lines down, you gotta give them plenty of room. If you catch a fish and the fish runs right into the anchor line, most likely you're gonna lose that fish. And so that just feeds into the same thing that I always say of using heavy line, 40, 50 pound test even, heavy drag and putting a lot of pressure on the fish, steer it away from the, out of the rocks. These fish, after they know they're hooked, first thing they're gonna do is run right south, right into those rocks and kelp. So if you stop them there, or at least turn their head, then you've at least won the initial battle. But then when you have skiffs out here with anchor lines, that's the second part of it. So you need to fight the fish as hard as you can so you can get straight up and down on it and get get it so your line is straight up and down and so you're right on top of the fish and that will drastically um, decrease the chance that you're going to lose it into the anchor line. A couple of guys have farmed fish this morning due to broken lines. I mean these are big home guard yellowtail um, so 40 pound test they're not shy they're biting it. A little bit of pressure on today but um, a good amount of kayaks out and beautiful morning you know it's 72 degree water it's uh, kind of drizzly and rainy this morning super cloudy but you know, a squid can congregate much more in these low light conditions. If it was bright sun out right now, uh, it would all disperse and go to deep water. So we're gonna give it another couple drifts here, see if I can get another bite. Right now I got two nice yellow tail on the boat. Missed, uh, for some reason my GoPro didn't turn it on. I missed the fight on the second one, but they're both about the same. Probably 30 pounds each. Some nice looking fish. All right, well, we'll give it a couple more drifts here and see if we can get another bite. Be nice if we could add a sea bass or a halibut to the mix, but uh, this is pretty much as good as it gets, guys. Summertime squid fishing. I think there's a lot of boats outside that are just chasing after the bluefin, keeping the pressure off, off the inside. And you know, if there was 20 boats out here, they definitely would not be biting like this. But 20 kayaks, manageable. Fish on my dropper loop, fish on my dropper loop. Go, 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 go. Huge mark right here. Big old fat mark checking out my squid here. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for this video. Pretty much a wide open squid bite going on. And uh, looked like a few other, few other boats got on it, a few other kayaks got on it, but for the most part, not too crowded for a Saturday. Kind of a hazy, gloomy Saturday, but it is starting to glass off out here. And uh, those low light conditions can make it much easier to make that bait. Today I was fishing with the TLD 15 lever drag. Uh, it's got 65 pound braid, about a half a spool of 65 pound green power pro. It's got a top shot of a 40 pound mono, probably about 50 or 60 feet worth, tied up as a dropper loop with a 10 ounce torpedo and a seven knot J hook. Fishing that in gear in the rod holder with uh, about probably about 40 or 50 percent drag actuation for when that fish hits, and that big gaff of a J hook, that seven knot J hook is gonna just get a super deep hook set as soon as the fish takes off and encounters that drag resistance. Still looking pretty good out here. We're still making a little bit of the bait, marking some fish here and there, but I got these two big, uh, these two big yellowtail, which need to get in and get put on ice. So uh, we're gonna head in. It's ankle slappers at the launch. Yeah, time to get these fish in, get them on brine ice and uh, get, them, get them ready to cut up tomorrow probably. I don't think I'll cut them today. We'll, we'll brine them overnight. Yeah, again, congratulations to Krexy on his first yellowtail ever. And then followed subsequently by second yellowtail ever. Homeboy was pretty stoked, man. Congratulations. If you guys like this content, if you guys wanna see me back on YouTube, give me some motivation. Give me a comment, give me a like. Sure was nice to get out here and get a couple. So we'll see you at the launch.